Hello, this is Bishop Jonathan, and this is the Bishop's Take. Today, I'm going to talk about starting small but steady. The Bishop's Take presents Start Right, Stay Strong, Finish Well, a 15-day devotional video series to enjoy and accomplish life by Bishop Jonathan Ferriol. It's been trumpeted by many nutritionists, therapists, and trainers that change is better achieved and sustained in small steps instead of one big leap. The reason it's better to achieve change or transformation in smaller steps is because real and beneficial change needs time to happen. So don't rush it. But neither should you take shortcuts because in reality, there are none. True change doesn't happen overnight, whether it's several weeks or months or years. Change takes time. Interestingly enough, while he was on his quest to bring salvation to mankind, Jesus Christ never took shortcuts or detours. Our Savior trudged every single mile of the Via Dolorosa, all the way to the hill of the skull called Golgotha, where he died and where he was crucified. But as he was making that journey, Jesus learned obedience from the things from which he suffered. As you slowly but steadily progress in your self-development, Take time to understand the valuable lessons that come with it. You see, God is teaching you. Surprisingly, some of the lessons that God teaches us in this life and in our faith or ministry are better understood in hindsight. I call that the rear view mirror perspective. For example, Joseph learned that his demotion was actually God's plan for his elevation. We can find that in Genesis chapter 50 in verse 20. What you intended for evil, God intended it for his good. Obviously, as he was going through every mishap and trouble, first in the hands of his stepbrothers and then in Egypt, Joseph was also learning the valuable lessons that God was teaching him at that time. Eventually, Joseph got better than his brothers. Take it from him and from our Lord. You too will also get better as you remain in pursuit of your vision of a more accomplished you. Don't take shortcuts or detours. Stay the course. You're going to get better in no time. Once again, this is Bishop Jonathan and this is the Bishop's Take.